Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Another Republican candidate has jumped in the race for governor. Meet Morris County Pastor Phil Rizzo. Pastor, thank you so much for agreeing to talk with us today. You are a uh, late entry into the governor's race. And when we talk to a candidate for the first time on Jersey Matters, we always give the candidate a chance to tell the viewers and the voters a little bit about themselves. So the floor is yours. Well, New Jerseyans are looking for someone that's going to represent their needs. Uh, New Jersey's been through a lot the last year, and uh, they're looking for somebody who is going to go and fight for their rights and for their families. We're looking to get the children back into school and, and businesses opened. And so that is in my background uh, as a uh, pastor and a businessman and a father uh, of four kids. Uh, we, we have a pretty good connection uh, with New Jersey families, and uh, we're looking to represent their best interests. Uh, you, you leading off with that, that that is uh, one of your, your campaign issues to get the schools open and to get, to get the businesses, small businesses opened again. By November, you don't think that will have already happened? Well, uh, it doesn't seem like things are happening very fast. New Jerseyans have been promised two weeks to slow the spread, and here we are a year later. So uh, I can't make any promises for the current administration, uh, but I would say that uh, we need to get moving, and we need to get moving quickly. Uh, I'm not so sure that come November, uh, this thing will be completely behind us under the current the current administration. From the reports that have been out about the budget address, there are some claims that the government, that the budget is flush with money. Do you buy that? How is that possible? Well, when you talk to New Jersey residents uh, up and down the state, they've got three major concerns with New Jersey and it's taxes, taxes, and taxes. And we've seen increases every year. And, you know, it's, it's by a reflection of the spending. Spending in New Jersey is out of control. Uh, and the growth rate, there's been a 50% growth rate uh, under this administration. That's not sustainable. And so we also did just borrow billions of dollars. And so certainly uh, Governor Murphy will tout it as a surplus. But I, I think it's just smoke and mirrors. Let's talk a little bit about politics, if you would, especially on the Republican side. Jack Cittarelli has been in the race for a long time. He ran for governor last time. It's all, it seems like he's been running for five years. And he's been able to get a lot of endorsements. It's very difficult, is it not, to enter the race this late and get any traction? And especially because you also have someone who, I'm assuming it's your lane, already very conservative, also Trump supporters who are in the race. Well, I think New Jerseyans uh, are not trying to fix the problem in New Jersey, which was uh, created by politicians. I'm thinking New Jerseyans are looking for a fresh face and to send a politician to fix a political problem is just more of the same. I'm an outsider. Uh, no doubt uh, people are looking for their uh, lives to be represented, their voices to be heard. And I think I offer a special uh, ear uh, to, to listen to what New Jersey families are looking for. And no doubt we're an outsider, but I think that's the trend right now of what people are wanting. Do you think your support of Donald Trump helps you in a Republican primary? I believe that uh, the policies that New Jersey families have experienced under the Trump administration have been good. Uh, American exceptionalism, uh, a growing economy, uh, unemployment decline, uh, that's something that New Jersey residents uh, benefited from. And so I, I think it's something that they'd be interested. Not everybody needs to like a person, but they certainly enjoyed their policies. Is that how you feel, that you aren't, don't like the person so much, but you liked his policies? No, I like uh, the man himself. I, I believe that uh, as, a, as a family man, as a political outsider, uh, as a businessman, uh, I think we uh, cross a, a lot of the same uh, uh, paths in our personal lives before entering into the political arena. Tell me specifically uh, about your plans. You've, you've said you're going to look forward. You said specifically you want to open, uh, open uh, schools and stores. That may happen by then. What would you do? What, uh, let's just say day one or your first hundred days. What's your priority? 
The priority is to get New Jerseyans back to prosperity. We need to shrink the, uh, the authority of the executive branch that has become uh, really a dictatorship in New Jersey. We need, to, we need to shrink that. We need to reduce uh, the power that the governor has over New Jersey families. We need to restore power back to New Jersey families. We need to get their kids in school. We need to get their businesses uh, up and running. Uh, we're never gonna go all the way back to pre-COVID, but if we can move in the direction uh, to restore a sense of normalcy uh, into people's lives, I think that's our biggest objective. When um, former Republican chair Doug Steinhardt dropped out of the race, there were a lot of people who were not Jack Chitterelli fans who were looking for another candidate. Is that why you jumped in so late? Were you approached to run? I've said this. If you're at an intersection and there's only one gas station, you're going to overpay for bad gas. Nobody should have a free uh, path to a political uh, nomination. Uh, I believe competition is good. I believe capitalism is good. I think the New Jersey residents deserve, they, they have earned, they, they've paid their dues. Uh, they have earned the right to make a choice of who they want to have their voice in Trenton. There's a couple of other candidates, you do know that. Are you discounting them? I don't discount anybody. The moment I discount somebody is the moment I'm discounted. And so I think New Jerseyans have the right to survey the entire field, find the candidate that they can align with, that they believe has a great chance, that checks all the boxes of the big voting blocks in New Jersey, and will give them a real chance in November against Phil Murphy. I asked Jack Cittarelli about a debate in the Republican primary, and he said he he ignored the question. He just punted on it, making me believe he's not going to agree to a debate with the other Republican candidates. How do you feel about that? Well, he's certainly uh, out in front right now, but New Jerseyans are going to decide whether they want to hear uh, a head to head and uh, any other candidate that hits the benchmark of $490,000 for matching funds. Uh, he can try to punt, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, and so New Jerseyans are going to want to hear uh, a head-to-head -head, uh, debate from the GOP rivals. So you're expecting a debate. You're going to keep pushing for a debate. I'd be glad to debate, Jack. I was with him uh, a number of times. Uh, we're, we're, we're not enemies. Uh, I, as I said, I look forward to uh, good competition. Uh, I'd, be get, I'd be glad uh, to debate Jack, and more importantly, uh, the people of New Jersey, if they want it, they should get it. Wonderful, sir. I, I appreciate your time. I, I know you have other places to go today, but I really appreciate you spending time with us. Phil Rizzo, Republican candidate for governor. Still to come on Jersey Matters, a nine-year-old New Jersey girl complains during a virtual classroom that she's not getting enough food, and a former lieutenant governor comes to the rescue. That story next. <laughs>